you know, before I, I thank everyone, I have to correct the record a little bit. Uh, I, I, Bob said to me, what are you going to say? And I said, well, the first thing I'm going to say is that the best thing I ever got from Wisconsin was marrying you. And he said, oh, good, I'll say that. I'm speaking first. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it, it, it is true. It has been the best thing that has ever happened to me. I am, uh, I am so proud of him. I, I want to um, join almost all of his remarks. Uh, I, I will tell you that he asked me to marry him, as he says, on the, our first date. He was so terribly crushed that he didn't bother to ask me again for five years. <laughs> so obviously, it really upset him. Um, it, and, I, and I agree with everything he said about the other honorees here today, but I, I want to tell you how proud I am to be his wife. When you go around Washington, and constantly people compliment you on your husband or come up to you and tell you that your husband did this great thing for them that he didn't bother to tell me that he did. And you heard about all of the famous people, but I get to hear from all of the younger, the, the more junior reporters and producers and people whose names you don't know. And I hear about all of the kind things uh, that Bob has done for them. And so it makes me proud to be married to this man every day. So thank you. <laughs> Um, I also want to thank John because he is right. I have been around since the Lincoln administration. <laughs> you know, how many 62-year-old women are there on television? Uh, it's been a pleasure to be on the uh, school, on the Board of Visitors for the college, the School of Political Science, mainly because I've seen how much better it is now than it was when I went there and how they're striving every day as I think in, in almost all of the courses at, at the university and the students I come into contact with tell me this, um, that, that they try to make this experience of going to this university um, both relevant and inspirational, giving them a sense of how the world really works, but also what they can do in the world. And so for me, getting this honor is just huge. Um, and I, I thank the Alumni Association and Biddy Martin, if you're still out here. Uh, it's been a pleasure to get to know you, and, and uh, thank you so much for this. It is really a very big deal for a former waitress at the Plaza Tavern. Uh, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I'll tell you, if there's anything that can keep you humble through your entire life, it's being a waitress, especially at a place like the Plaza Tavern. Uh, although I do say that it, it also taught me uh, a lot there. It, besides what I learned on campus in class, uh, it was a great chance to interact with people who didn't necessarily um, approve of the way the student population was behaving in those days. And so uh, I got a regular earful every day from the Huss family who continued to correspond with me. And uh, that was one of the more fun things I got to do here at the university. Um, as Bob mentioned, being here in Madison on a gorgeous spring day and seeing all the kids out on the terrace at the Union brought back so many memories for us. The only thing that was missing was the scent of tear gas wafting <laughs> through the atmosphere, which is what we had when we were here. Um, but thinking about coming out here for this wonderful occasion made me think a lot about you know, all the things that I got from being at the university. Um, a fellow Midwesterner, Adlai Stevenson, once said that here in the Midwest, we can see a long way in all directions. And I think that is what I got from the University of Wisconsin. It wasn't so much about what we learned. Uh, we had great professors, and I think part of being here was also the diverse student body and the chance to learn from the people that you went to school with. But we learned how to think. We learned how to go after information. And I think we learned to be a little bit skeptical of things that were put in front of us. Part of that was probably being here in school during the Vietnam War years and having our professors address that with us, even as we kind of pushed them to do it sometimes more than they wanted to. But we learned a way of looking at the world. And that way had to do with breadth and depth 
And the other thing that I learned here in Wisconsin was um, Midwest values. They go a long way because it, it's true that you can disagree with people and that you can do it in a friendly and a, a positive way. And I think that was something that just went forward here every day, even in the midst of some really um, intense student protests. So this is such a great experience for me. And, and the one thing that I wanted to say was it, I've had a chance to meet a lot of other alums here over the past day and a half. And wherever I travel around the world, there is this moment when you meet somebody from the University of Wisconsin, you sort of look into each other's eyes and there's this kind of light that comes on as you realize that you've had this shared experience of what I really do think is the magic of Madison. And I thank you all so much for having me be here.